Hi, Toastmaster Madhu. Just repeat after me. I love Bangalore storytellers. I love Bangalore storytellers. Lovely. I could confirm that you are audible and you are visible. And let's move forward. And I would like to introduce as Toastmaster Madhu Kumar. I am not. I'm sorry, Toastmaster Madhu Kumar. I'm not the best. I'm not the best. Toastmaster Madhu Kumar. So I begin. Life, life of each and every person tells them two most important things at every moment. One, they are the best. Two, they are not the best. Sometimes even they are the worst. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and my dear guests. Today, I'm going to tell all the events when my life said to me that I'm the best and all the events when it did say to me that I'm not the best. My native place is Tumakuru. I did my primary education, high school education, and all the pre-university education was all in Tumakuru. When I was in first and second class, my parents, my teachers, and my neighbors used to say that I write so good. They used to appreciate and praise me a lot. But when my brother was three years younger than me, when he joined the, the school, my parents and neighbors started saying that he writes better than me. And he, they also said to me to take a look at his handwriting and learn from him. That's a, that is when for the very first time, my life said to me that I'm not the best. I was a kid back then. I didn't know how to react. That's okay. So during my primary school days, I was good at studies. Don't get me wrong here. What I meant is I was good at scoring. You know why? Because I was good at by hearting and blindly remembering the answers. When I moved to a different school for my high school education, on the very first day I was sitting in my classroom, I was telling to myself, Madhu, you are A plus in six subjects and you are the best. Teacher came in and he started asking general knowledge questions and math, basic math questions. It was dif they were difficult to me. I thought it's difficult for all others too. But to my surprise, others started answering. And in the same class, there were students who were having multiple talents. People were good at singing, dancing. Few of them were good at sports. I was not good at any of them. At the end of the day, my life said to me, I'm not the best but I was not ready to accept it. I was like, I shut up. You, I know who I am. I was kind of studying to my best. And also I was a part of NCC. I was actively taking part in science exhibitions. I kind of grabbed teachers attention with my sincerity and obedience. But in the ninth standard final examination, I scored 73.6%. And I disappointed my teachers and my parents. I had to give my 10th standard board examination in one year. That is when my life told me for the very first time, I'm the worst. I didn't have any other choice but to accept it. That is when my father came to help me. He's an high school teacher. He started teaching me maths and science from the scratch. I worked hard. I worked harder till I scored 97.6 percentage in my 10th board examination. And that day I was on cloud nine. I never knew that happiness was the first step for the sadness which was waiting for me. Till then I never really cared about one of the best quotes of Abdul Kalam which says, don't take rest after your first victory because if you do so and if you fail in second the time, Many lips are waiting to say that the very first success of yours was just a luck. I experienced that. When I did not get into IIT, sorry, NITs, when I scored less in 12th, I experienced that. That is when my life said to me, I'm not the best. I agreed to it. I had to agree. Nonetheless, I managed to get a decent rank in Velour Institute of Technology entrance exam. And I secured a seat in electrical and electronics engineering. 
VIT was a whole lot of new word for me. It was a little overwhelming to me because there were a lot of students from different states, different countries, and students with multi-talent. Uh, people were good at singing, dancing, speaking, but I was not good at any of them. But I practiced, I joined clubs and chapters. I worked hard, I participated in competitions, I got prizes, I got attention, recognition and appreciation. That is when, again, my life said to me that I'm the best. I was so stupid that I believed and I considered myself as the best. And then I kind of stopped listening to my friends. I thought they are idiots. And whatever the decisions that I take, that's the best. And I don't have to listen to their career plans. I don't have to listen to their preparation strategies. That is where I went wrong. I failed again, once again, during my campus placements. I had a loan to clear and getting place is very important for me. But in the beginning of my campus placements, I did not get into um, my dream companies, but my friends did. I was very sad. I was thinking, I was thinking a lot. And then I realized that I'm not the best. I went to them. I asked their preparation strategies. I asked for suggestions and I learned, listened to their interview experience. I worked hard for two months. I was very silent. I was only working, but I did get into, I get placed into one of my dream companies. Today, I work there as a control system engineer and I really love my job. And today I also believe that I'm not the best, but I can be uh, sometimes one of the best in some field, but there are so many others who are good at various different fields. I also, last uh, week, I did meet TM Lavanya. There was one of her friends whose name is Neil Newton. He was so good at singing. And then I started appreciating Today, that is one of the reasons why I'm here at BSTC and joined Toastmasters, to listen to you people, your opinions, your perspectives, and to grow with you all. So that's all. This is Madhu, not the best.